It's Melissa with Melissa Peterson, Peterson Designs. Good Lord. Um, working on some Christmas trees today. I've got a whole new setup, so you're going to have to forgive me. Um, just trying to get the right angle, and I just realized it's too high. I have three Christmas trees we're going to work on today. I should say not three. Three Christmas trees that I got from Don Mon from the White Oak Gallery. Um, we did some crafting on Sunday. There we go. And um, I let Daniela, Daniela's going to keep one of them, and I let her complete hers. And we added some texture and crackling to it with uh, Dixie Bell C spray texture additive. I've had this for a few months, and I bought it to do another project with, and I ended up using just joint compound for it. So it's my first time using it. But this is Daniela's finished product, project. Um, got these trees from Don Mon, the White Oak Gallery, so if you're interested, you'll have to contact her. She is in our private group here. Um, I don't know if she has more available or not, but um, you can certainly ask her. Let me see here. Get you a little bit lower. <clears throat> there we go. Maybe that'll work. So, basically, we stained the boards. I used the water-based gel stain, and um, I used Dixie Belle's Black Magic. They have um, other colors like Tobacco Road. Um, technically, I think that's what Daniela used on this Christmas tree was Tobacco Road, and then she added a little bit of um, Temptress on the edges, and then she also added um, some sparkly glitter paint glitter paint from um, Hobby Lobby <clears throat> so basically this is a water paste gel gel stain called voodoo gel stain just gotta shake it up really good um, <clears throat> it dries really really easy um, like when I normally use regular stain it takes me a couple days for it to cure before I can use it with this I could use it probably after after a couple of hours of drying. So that really speeds up the time. I'm just putting some of my paper plate here. And I still think you're too high. Let me see, there we go. I'm getting all set up for my winter projects. I got a few things moved out this weekend. Daniela helped me with the craft room and getting it organized. So I'm hoping to get moved back up there. So this is one of the Christmas trees from, from Dawn's. And I'm putting this stuff on a little thick. I'm just using a regular paintbrush and um, that's no big deal because it's water-based. So you have a little wash them. You don't have to use special cleaner to clean them. Or you don't have to use cheap brushes and throw them away. And I'm just getting everything that I think will be seen from the side too. Actually, I turned it upside down. Danielle thought I was nuts, but I wanted to make sure I get all the little edges. So, if you guys have any plans for Thanksgiving, let me know. We're uh, we're having my mother-in-law is at her house on Thursday and then we're having mine here with my mom on Sunday so and I think we're probably going to have a little ham on my, at mine I'm, I'm more of a ham person than a turkey person I think Thanksgiving and Christmas are my two favorite holidays <clears throat> so yeah, I turn this upside down to make sure get to get the edges underneath. And this wood is kind of rough, so this soaks in really nice. I 
I uh, took Piper outside before I came on. She was feeling a little frisky again this morning. So I think she got some energy ran off of her before I came on this morning, which is good. She can be quite persistent. Even though she's almost three, she's still pretty much a pup at heart. And my husband's been doing some cleaning down the basement and rearranging, and I think I can probably move some of my projects downstairs, my big projects. I've got a desk up here, a dresser to work on, and then my fireplace mantle. I've started adding uh, molding to it. And I had one of the moldings slip. I had it to remove it, and it came off not super easy, but easier than I thought it would, so I was able to get that fixed. So, so far I've used about two tablespoons of this Voodoo Jane cell in Black Magic. I'll have to use a little bit more, it looks like. <clears throat> I had to get my coffee all ready before I came on, and then I put it where I can't reach it. So who's all got their Christmas trees up already? Technically I do, but I don't have my big one up and it won't be going up this year since I've got my furniture projects in the way. Because I um, we always, we have this big bay window um, and that's where we put our tall Christmas tree. There's no room for it and I'm determined to get those projects done and taken care of because I've been sitting on them for a while. So there's the water-based gel stain. I'll probably come back and do the back side because that way in case I have it off to the side to decorate, I won't have any wood showing. And now we get a mix up the texture. Um, Daniela read the directions and technically it's eight ounces of paint to two scoops, which the scoop is provided. I'm just going to use a, paint, a, plate, a paper plate and estimate because we're not going to need that much. And basically, this one was painted on or stained on sat Sunday. I'm going to use fluff, Dixie Bell's fluff. I'm trying to get this used up so that way I can um, get this jar taken care of because I wasn't very good at cleaning the jar. So now the lid's hard to shut. Okay, so I basically have about three tablespoons of paint on my plate. Okay. And you can uh, basically mix the consistency so it's like thin or you can go more pasty like. I'm just going to add a little bit and just kind of see how it goes because once this dries it'll kind of give the paint a crackle effect a little texture and I probably added maybe two teaspoons of this so far So basically just two teaspoons and about three tablespoons of paint. I like that texture. I could, could go thicker, 
but I don't think I want to. I'm just gonna paint the snow on here. I actually probably have too much paint. And I'm pouncing it on because I want more texture. Look how much that made. I've got more than enough. Probably enough for both trees. And you can use any color. I use Dixie Bell's Fluff. You can use different colors if you want with this powder. When I learned about this product, I was using it for, um, I was going to use it to make my angel wings. And so I decided to use Joy Compound. Hey Kristen, how you doing girl? Are you off work? Are you off to taking care of P today? I'm just making a Christmas tree. It's a craft I got from Don Mon at the White Oak Gallery. And this texture will crackle and give it a textured effect. Okay, I might make this a little thicker and put some more around the bottom so like I have a pile of snow. We'll see how that goes. I can always build on it too and keep adding to it. So when it dries, it'll get all crackly and give it kind of an aged look, if I did it right. So there's Daniela's, the one she did Sunday. All right, so that's basically it, and I might go back and add some... Uh, ornaments to it when that's dry? I don't know. It might be too much. Kind of like how I did on this truck. I added some, a string of ornaments. We'll see. I don't know. So if you got any questions, let me know. I'm going to hop on and hop off and uh, 
finish the other tree once I get it finished stained. So you guys have a great Chris Christmas or a great Thanksgiving. Bye, Kristen. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Hi, my name is Melissa with Melissa Peterson Designs. Thank you so much for watching my video. I like to consider myself a resource for other crafters, or that's what I'm striving for. Um, I have two Etsy stores, Piper's Pop Print Designs and Midwest Market Studio, where I also offer cut files, mock-ups. Um, I also have a free library for those who join my tribe, MPD Tribe, um, of cut files. Um, mock-ups and video tutorials. If you have any questions, please contact me. You can join my tribe at melissapetersondesigns.com. Thank you so much for watching.